All right, this is our duffel bag slash dummy workout, improvising with the duffel bag. Shout out to my homies, Cruz and Sophie from the Pit Idaho or BJJ Idaho for the idea. I think they mentioned that they saw that somewhere else. And I really like the idea here. So what I decided to do was to pretty much, I chose like a bag that I don't use anymore. And because I'm really loyal to the brand that has been supporting me. And uh, <laughs> so it's not a bag that I, it's in use. I stuffed with old uh, geese. I have some geese here. Ideally, I probably would choose a bag that was a little bit bigger if I had one. This is what I have. And I just want to show you that it doesn't matter. You still can work out with what you have. Uh, quick thing here. Um, be mindful with the zipper. If you want to get something over the zipper as well. You know, something like that. It can wrap around if you want to. Maybe if you want to use this as a, as a grounding pound and you don't want to buy a dummy like those, uh, grounding pound dummy, get more. Um, it's kind of duct tape. Wrap it over more, and then you can work some grounding pound at home or so. Uh, here, I could do the same thing. I'm just going to put a piece of tape on top of that uh, thing here. You know, I could go all the way around, and you can come up with your own ideas here. So this is just a simple thing to at least bring some light as far as how you can be creative with whatever you have. This is not my original idea, like I said before. This is something that somebody else told me. And I thought it was pretty cool, right? If it's like an old, old duffel bag, um, I don't know, maybe you cut this or just wrap it over, come up with something, okay? So I'll show you like how I would work out with this. And I could definitely have more things here to stuff and make it a little bit harder. Also, I could put maybe something heavy if I need to do any pickup and toss, okay? So here I would work on my fight stance Always from here, uh, I could start like with something like ceiling. And again, I really don't care how I look right now, if uh, anybody gonna think that I'm silly or a fool. For me, the most important is to stay active and work uh, while we cannot go back to the gym. So even if I'm here and I work my step over guard pass, good knee and stomach, good position, my good switches from there, try to work your agility from here. And now you can start like doing you're spinning around, you know, like to learn how to hover over your opponent's head. So the way that I work, you know, as if I was switching sides on um, knee on the stomach, can go back a little bit. This got a little bit flat. Go back here, right? Work my fight stance. Work your knee cut passes from here, right? Get a good side control variations. You still can get your good scarf hold regular. Uh, side control, or say here you can do that little hybrid from here. You can switch, right? Get your reverse scarf hold. You can step over, go back inside the guard, go back up, do your step over again, back, knee in the stomach, switch to other knee in the stomach, turn around, get back up. Now work your knee cut passes. And again, if this, this was like more stuff, it would be better. So as I'm here, get your knee cut passes and get back to your knee in the stomach. If you have this, wrap it over. Work your one, two elbow, hammer fist, go from there, all right? So this is just another suggestion, pretty cool. Duffel bag slash dummy workout.